if you don't take care of your business both on the field and in the classroom, your NIL means nothing. On June 30th, 2021, the NCAA Division I Board of Directors approved an interim policy that allowed student athletes the opportunity to be compensated off of their name, image, and likeness, also referred to as NIL. This policy has completely changed the landscape around college athletics, especially at UVA. For the past year, student athletes have been able to capitalize on their brand by partnering with local businesses to promote their products or services. Some athletes have joined NIL collectives, organizations that are independent of the university with the purpose of gathering funds from businesses, donors, and fans to help facilitate NIL deals for the athletes. We spoke to Lo Davis, the executive director of Cavalier Futures, an NIL collective based at the University of Virginia. He shared the many benefits of NIL for student athletes at Cavalier Futures. We know that the top 1% of student athletes, whether it's a Brennan Armstrong or a men's basketball team, they're gonna naturally create some opportunities for themselves. So at Cavalier Futures, we said, not only do we wanna help that top 1%, but we wanna be able to help the other 99%. So we're gonna bring our network of board members and alumni into our marketplace and be able to provide, whether it's networking opportunities, financial literacy, and ultimately maybe some job placement. NIL is able to serve those that find themselves in difficult financial situations. A lot of these student athletes come from challenging backgrounds. Um, they don't have the extra money to walk around or to buy clothes or to go to a movie and all of that. I, I talked about a story, I've, I've talked to at least two, two student athletes here, that the clothes that they wear are the UVA issue clothes. and so. Uh, they take that, that money that they get from their scholarship and they send that money back home to take care of mom and dad. And so to have the ability to now make some extra money and have it in your pocket to do the things that normal students want to do, I think it's great. Student athletes use their NIL for a wide range of activities. We spoke to Connor Schellenberger, a student athlete on the UVA men's lacrosse team, describing the kinds of NIL opportunities that his teammates and other athletes have received. You know, whether it's equipment, equipment deals, um, you know, Warrior with us at UVA. So they had re they'd reached out to a couple guys, you know, being able to promote camps and clinics in a different way, it's the merchandise aspect. We've had a couple guys do uh, jersey tees at like Mincer's, UVA bookstore, stuff like that. There is a growing concern about NIL being a potential reason for student athletes to transfer from one university to another. Student athletes may gravitate towards larger schools with lucrative NIL opportunities. As a result, this harms smaller schools losing their top players. Also, NIL appears to only have regulations set up in some states, while others follow the NCAA guidelines, leaving much room for miscommunication. There was legislation passed in, um, in Richmond that basically gave the institution a little bit more say-so and control in terms of how they run NIL. Well, there, if you look at across the country, there are state laws and then the NCAA has, has stayed true to their current policies. And so with Carla and her team, uh, they have decided to not adhere to the state laws but certainly stay true to the NCAAs just for compliance to make sure that, again, there are no surprises. What do you think of the future of NIL and how do you think it'll affect Cavalier Futures? We probably have another year or so of the wild, wild west. And then I think there's going to be a really strong push with federal legislation. And again, for us, the way that we're doing Cavalier Futures, it's going to, in my opinion, be flexible and adaptable to how NIL truly functions, because if we can do the career readiness piece, if we're gonna be able to do the networking piece, along with the endorsement opportunities, I think we outlast any type of major changes that come through, because we're still gonna be considered an asset to the University of Virginia, the athletic department and our student athletes. And if we're doing it the right way, which I know we will, why wouldn't you embrace it? Why wouldn't the department embrace it? Why wouldn't our donors embrace it? And so we're looking for a sustainable model, not something that's just a quick fix and participate because 
some other institutions are. With NIL constantly evolving due to new legislation, the future of it is unknown. However, we do certainly know that NIL is here to stay. I'm Duncan McGrath, WVA. Thank <music> you.